Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I am going to show you a fascinating chart, ones that I've been showing you through a few of my videos like what you see in uh, these bluish sort of thumbnails here and a few more down here. They are very important and significant to this bull market. And if you've been watching my channel, you understand what we're about to do. If you're new watching, this is going to be one of the most important things that you see of this cryptocurrency space. Please drop a like if you're new watching or anyone that's watching. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. That's what I should have said. And I'm going to dive into this with you. And I'm going to really try and make it super, super simple because a lot of people that see this probably panic and go, oh my God, well, I don't understand it. I'm going to help you understand, okay? But before I dive into this, actually, I need to let you know I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on this crypto market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. The place, or the place, the crypto space has been going absolutely crazy over the last few months. We've been seeing 10Xs, 50Xs, 100Xs with all different types of coins. And, you know, a lot of people may be having this question in your head. When is the top? Are we there? Is this it? Now, this chart is absolutely fascinating. It absolutely blows my mind when I see it because you can see so much of what's going on and where things will go. I'm going to break it down with you. I'm using three indicators. I'm using the Bitcoin investor tool. Let me turn it off and on so you can see. That is the Bitcoin investor tool. <coughs> I'm using the Pi cycle, which for me has been absolutely spot on in the past when it comes to calling the tops. You can see me flashing it on and off. And then I'm using the 200 week heat heat map. I'm also going to be showing you this heat map in another perspective in this video because it, it is really important as to what I'm about to show you. You can see here I've highlighted two types of circles, a blue highlight and a yellow highlight. I was trying to show you in relation as to where I thought we were in the past from the past bull cycle because it looks eerily similar as to what happened before. And as you can see in the last hype cycle back in 2017, 2018, we got close to the investor tool, which is this one here. And I'm going to break it down so the new people understand. We got close to breaking it and we didn't break it. And then we saw a correction. We tried again. This is with Bitcoin, by the way. And the reason I focus on Bitcoin is because it controls the market. If Bitcoin pumpers, pumpers, <laughs> I'm not cutting nothing. I'm just leaving it in there. If Bitcoin pumps, the altcoins pump. <laughs> and if Bitcoin falls, the altcoins fall. And it tried to break it for the second time. And it didn't have much luck and then it finally came back up and then it broke it now i need to do this first actually let me do this one by one i want to show you one by one let's just focus on the bit uh, bitcoin investor tool now whenever you've seen the bitcoin price below this green line it's always signaled a very important time to buy a very great time to buy because if you look here you can see that once the price of the bitcoin has fallen below and these candlesticks if anyone's looking these red and they're basically telling us when the price goes up and the price goes down but whenever you've seen the price of bitcoin go below the green line for the bitcoin investor tool and you guys can grab this up yourself go on trading view totally free to use click on indicators and just search bitcoin investor tool and then you'll see it will come up straight here and then you can add it and it will look something like this this has always been significant and the best time to buy crypto i cannot stress that enough drops below we hit our market bottom and this is a great time to be accumulating crypto and you can see when we had that last dump down here went below the green line great time to accumulate crypto whenever it's gone above the red line is always been a time to tell us where the market cycle is coming to its top and as you can see here in the past 2017 when it broke this red line it shot up absolutely fast really high into our last all-time high and it doesn't look like it from here when you look at it right but this was a significant pump and i'm just going to show you with the measuring tool you know you're talking over 100 percent gains or pump uh, 158 percent pump to the upside mad crazy ludicrous bomb so <laughs> let's just compare that to now because if we are to see bitcoin break this red line 
I believe we're going to go into a phase which a lot of people call a super cycle and where, you know, Bitcoin's price will absolutely rip high. It will happen fast and quick and it will be over as fast as you realized it, <laughs> meaning it's not going to last long. So, and, you know, I just showed you it went up to 100, roughly 158 percent. If it was to break here and then it went above, where is 158 percent roughly at the bare minimum? You're talking uh, prices here like what's this 157? You're talking the highs of uh, let me see if I can make a line so you can see 107. Sorry, 100. No. Yeah. Is that right? A hundred and seventy six thousand dollar price for Bitcoin. That is insane when you think about it. And, you know, there's more that I really need to help you pay attention to. This was the Bitcoin investor tool. Absolutely powerful. Love it. And it works really well with these other lines that I'm about to show you. Let's turn that off because I want you to pay attention to the Pi cycle. And a matter of fact, I want to bring up this Pi cycle on another chart because I need to show you what happened previously. I'm going to bring up a chart called the BLX, the Brave New, I think it's called the Brave New Coin Liquid Index, something like that. <laughs> it says it there, I just couldn't bother to read it. All I care about is this. Every time the market has hit an all-time high, it has printed this purple line, which you can see straight down, and it tells us the market cycle top. And it has been spot on for calling the market cycle tops and you can see it here back in 2017 the red line and the orange line play an important role because when the orange line has crossed over the red line that has called the market cycle top and you can see straight here perfectly as soon as it crossed bang we hit us a market cycle top and then it was in and then we saw a bear market for however many years let's just take a look back if you're new watching, I think it's important for you guys to see. Let's just take a look back because you can see here it's done the same thing again. You see two purple lines indicating that there were market cycle tops. And again, you can look at the orange line and the red line when it's crossed. When the orange line is crossed above the red line, you can see that there was a market cycle top. And then obviously we came down into our bear market straight down here, which you can see. This one was interesting because it, it looked like it had a double top in the space of one year. Because if we look back here, this is 2013, 29th of March, you can see it down here, 29th of March, uh, 30th of March, whatever, April 13th. This was a market cycle top and this was a market cycle top, but we're, they were both in the same year. I'm not able to grab the heat map on this particular chart because it doesn't go that far back on this particular chart right and this could be because the heat map for trading view has not been created that long maybe this is when it got created i'm not sure but it's not showing it on here this is why i grab up this because the same thing that i just showed you here this part here is this what we see here now for me when i look at this and these are the heat, this is the same thing, the heat, the heat map. And I'm going to get into the heat map in a second. This is what you see here, this green, blue, purple, sorry, uh, bluish. Sometimes it goes purple. This is what you see here. It's a heat map. And it tells us also, you know, when we've got market highs and when we've got market lows and good times to buy and things like that. And every, every time you've seen it red, that sort of indicated the top. But this one had a double in, in one, one year. So you've got, uh, oh, sorry, I'm, what am I doing here? I'm zooming in. Let me see if I can bring it back to uh, standard size. Uh, how do we do it? Zoom out. Oh, zoom too far out here. How do we set it back? There's a thing here that lets me set it back. Let me find it. Let me find it. Here we go. So when we've seen it go red, it indicates the market top. But in this case... It's always been different every uh, cycle, but in this case, it went up red, it came down to yellow, and then it went straight back up to orangey again, and then it went to red, so we had a double top. Most people usually take profits at the top, and then they prepare themselves for a bear market. And this is usually done within not just the crypto space, the traditional stock place as well, like just traditional stocks. I'm sure they have a similar thing, right? But it's always been significant to take profits when it see when you see the red dot at the top. We haven't seen that yet, 2021. We're here. We're just we've just printed a yellow dot. And in in relation, and if anything, we could uh, potentially basically be. Is there a yellow dot here? No. There's a yellow dot here. We could potentially be here in the market from the last cycle, 2017. 
I'm still waiting to see a red dot because we haven't seen that yet. And the reason I'm pointing this out because the, is because the Pi cycle today, as it stands today, is about to do something which we only see when we see market cycle tops. And you can see here, pink li uh, purple line straight down market cycle top. Have a look. We are about to cross. Now this could be in a few days. This could be in a few weeks. But I believe we're going to see the Pi cycle do a cross unless for some crazy reason there's an absolute massive dump and then these bands start to widen out again we would see a, we're going to see a cross and this is why i needed to keep it on your uh, your radar because this is indicating that the pi cycle indicates that there's a market top we could see a purple line but technically speaking we haven't seen the red stamp on the heat map so this is something I want you to take into consideration as we look at these charts because it's really powerful, really interesting. And on top of that, I'm still waiting for the heat map down here to go red as well. Similar to the red dot, right? When you see a red dot, you see some red on this heat map here. And let me get into this because the heat map on this particular chart has always been great to know when to buy and sell coins. Always buy or I've always been looking to buy when it's dark blue. Whenever you see dark blue, perfect time to buy. And if anything, if the price of the coin has ever reached the actual heat map on this chart, fantastic time. That's as low as you could possibly buy. In this case, it's gone underneath the heat map. You know, for me, those are in indicators and signals that I should be buying crypto now. And then for me, whenever I've seen red, is the time to sell your crypto because that indicates that you're at the market cycle top and we have not seen that yet in relation to what's happening now 2021 it's you know flashing a bit of yellow two things can happen in my eyes right now we could either one absolutely rip through this high uh, this red line and smash really really high really really fast within the next month or two and that will indicate this is about to go red we would then print a red dot on this heat map and then we will see a market uh, cycle high. The, the lines will cross, or the cycle, the pie cycle, which is the middle two lines, would just do a cross by itself. These prices will come down, and we won't print the heat map. We won't print the red on the heat map. Therefore, meaning we could be in a similar cycle to the last one. Let me just show you in the past this one here. Meaning, we may see, it may indicate a cycle top. But again, because we can't see this here, or actually then again, it should, be, it should have been red, right? Because this shows two red lumps here, two red spots. We could be in a similar thing where we go high, we print a cycle, we come down, and then we consolidate, and then we go even higher. No one can tell time as to what's going to happen. No one can actually tell you for sure what's going to happen. I can just show you data. I can show you what I see. And you best believe, if you are a patron of mine, you saw this before everybody else on youtube because i show them everything and this is why you should become a patreon so you don't miss these important videos like this knowing when the market cycle top is coming when it's in and then we know exactly when to take our profits and we set up our strategies for uh, around these charts that i show you so we know when to take profits I hope this has uh, really been made simple for you guys because I know that it's, when you look at charts like this, it can be confusing, but I really want to make sure it's super simple to understand. Um, but yeah, I think that, um, you know, I need to keep an eye on this. I'm going to keep bringing you guys updates on this as well. I think that this is the most important thing to me, for me to watch right now is the pie cycle. Uh, let me just see if I can draw it. Where's my little thing over here? There we go. This is what I'm paying attention to right here, because once this crosses, I need to see what's going to happen with the price. Are we going up even higher? Are we going to explode? Are we going to go lower? What's the heat map going to say? Is it going to go red? Is it going to go green? Is it going to go blue? These are the things that I need to see, and then I can update you and tell you what I think is going to happen. But one thing I know for sure is that if you're investing, invest in, <laughs> be, make sure to invest wisely. Keep this in, in mind because I know that when the Bitcoin price falls, because again, that was based on Bitcoin. And this is what I know for sure. When the Bitcoin price falls and when this starts to take a healthy correction, you are going to see money flow into altcoins straight up because it's been proven in the past and you've seen it happen in the past. And a fine example of this is this. Have a look at Bitcoin's price 
and look at the last all-time high remember the date this says december the 18th was when it hit its last all-time high december the 18th 2017 december have a look at ethereum as an example because the altcoins meaning ethereum xrp and every other altcoin has always hit their all-time high after look at the month january you're talking a, a whole month three weeks or a month after so that means bitcoin has done its all-time high it's taken its people have taken their profits and then they've looked at other altcoins and then that's where the money's been pumped into and i expect it to do a similar thing this time around i'm not 100 percent sure no one can be 100 percent sure i can just only tell you and speculate on what i believe again this is why i say it's just my personal opinion on this market do your own research as well i want you to take this video really study it go back on it keep playing it and understand what i'm saying and do some extra research look into it more because again you know it's not financial advice i can only show you what i see uh, but yeah if this was helpful to anyone please drop a like i really do like these videos guys check these videos if you missed them check this one here you know where's the other ones they're so important check this one here check this one here these are super important videos all time high very soon i've been stressing it to you guys you don't want to be that person that looks down at your portfolio and if you haven't got a portfolio please look at getting one this is not a sponsor sponsorship or anything this is just me trying to help you out get yourself an app like delta or block folio where you can see everything that you're buying how much you spent these are important because you need to know how much you've got and how much profits you made if you're using an exchange fine cool but please make sure you can see it <coughs> if you enjoyed this please drop that like give me a subscribe i want to shout out to my patrons i hope you're all ready for this because again it feels like i'm in class <laughs> because there's so many people but i appreciate you all shout out to daniel atkins toy and ottery glenda it's time Cobra black sm i dry to see we're here trying to do it fast look tony dan marco costanti jazz azari michael aj frank c63 clarence dennison honcho the first christopher johnson Jacob Adams, I'm slowing down now. <laughs> Mr. Anonymous, Captain Good Smoke, Suraj Shuckler, Lewis Roach, Latasha F, Axel, Carlos Rocha, Mr. Tough Foo, Damaris, Naj Bogan, Dan Cox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG, Brittany, Bizzle, Rafael Kakinski, I think I said that right, uh, Max, Kenneth Whitley, Wisem, or Wisem, Markello or Marcelo Trevino, I do apologize, I can never remember which one it is, uh, Redix or Redix Robinson, uh, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyrone Samuel, Stephen Edward, Luca Reno, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Duang Sula, or Duang Suda, sorry, I do apologize, Evan Fong, Bola, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Stacks on Racks, Stan Kyle, Rick, Joffrey Williams, Eric Eubank, Omar Thomas, Casper Nell, my god, so many, Aaron Davis, <laughs> Damian Hunter, Rion Wade, Restored by Life, Ali Jill, uh ccp 269 uh good feels nice aaron white lucas albert lynn aaron b for honor man dominic alexander mangion will w peter studart and belinda spencer my god this whole list is just growing and i want to truly appreciate uh, thank you all i truly appreciate it. i think i won't get my words out there look <laughs> i'm not cutting nothing I just want to thank you all because you guys have become patrons. You guys are seeing exclusive content and I truly appreciate your support that you've given me. It helps me in my channel. And yeah, I just really look forward to all you guys making some insane gains along with me. Because again, you see my stake alerts, you see my buy alerts, my trade alerts, my take profit alerts. And if you guys want to see it that are watching this channel, you're welcome to become a patron just along with every single person the names that you just heard select the tier that's best for you you can choose there's many tiers you can come down and select whichever is best for you i have seven of them and you can decide which one you want to go for i would recommend going for ones that are for my buy stake sell alerts but it's entirely up to you at the end of the day uh, but yeah thank you for watching guys and i look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers